Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, my name is Drew and this is Doug yet again. Today we're going to be reviewing the 1954 Ford Custom Line. So should be a lot of fun. A three speed manual today. I haven't driven one of those in uh, a long time. So uh, yeah, well, I won't embarrass myself too bad. Yeah, here. people say that manual driving is a lost art and I think that's true, but I don't think they consider the column shift manual so yeah that's probably the real lost artist column shift this is what i learned how to drive on it was a three-speed column on a rambler so huh. <laughs> this has the inline six it does yes is a very well restored car so giving up the flathead V8 for the inline six cylinder was a good option, I think. Um, now I'm gonna test myself because I'm on a slope. <laughs> All right. So the custom line was their middle range, is that correct? They I think so, yes. The main line was their base. Well, my dad had a main line. Okay. A 53 main line, which uh, was his first car he ever even owned. He never had okay. a car before that. Really? You know, I was talking about it at lunch today. And hmm. So his, his payments were $86 a month. And pretty steep when he only made $280 a month. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. And the one above this is the crest line, I think. Crest line, yeah. Just trying to think of that. <laughs> that lady liked the car. Yeah. We're getting just as many waves in this as we do with the Ferrari. I know. See, last week we did the ultimate daily driving supercar, but I think that this is the ultimate daily driving classic car. I do like a nice classic car, and this one, this one's obviously, they, they made these in an automatic, and this is the three-speed column shift, so it's three on the tree, and uh, it's pretty smooth when you're really accelerating and getting into it. I feel like uh, Barney Fife in that episode where he bought that 54 Ford or whatever it was like. Yeah. Bought from the little old lady that only drove it to church and had all the problems in it. <laughs> Speedometer's cool the way the sun it is, comes yeah. through the back side of it. It's very cool. I like that and I like that hood ornament on the front there. Yeah. Good airplane. airplane. Looks good. And these were commonly used as police cars in the 50s, I think. So the police would often drive these custom lines around. You know, they were painted black with a white top on them some white doors or something maybe. Well, this has been one family owned since new and it was the Dalmalin family from Arizona I believe and uh, I think I have a direct quote from them. So Arthur Dalmalin sold this to us and he said this 1954 Ford Custom Line has been one family owned since new purchased by the Dalmalin family in 1954 uh, it was kept in Arizona until 73 and then here was a quote uh, It says having lived through the Great Depression My grandfather was very frugal and purchased the mid-range custom line with only two options uh, The tinted glass and the radio. <laughs> but that's a tube radio. Yeah, let's see, if, let's see if it works They did such a good job restoring this. I bet it they did. Yeah, it works but The tube is gonna take a minute to come on down by YouTube so worth a shot anyway I'm impressed that it works I am too but they did yeah they did a great job restoring the car I think the color is fantastic it's sort of a teal color would you yeah. say 
So it's uh. Let me say it was sky haze green. Or sky, sky haze, haze blue. blue. Or, yeah. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. Here, let me see. Sky haze green is what it was called. Green. That's yeah. pretty kind of a turquoise color. It is. Yes. Kind of unique combination with this forest green interior. I wouldn't yeah. have thought that would have gone together, but it works. It does work. Yes. And those white wall tires look great too. Vacuum wipers, no doubt. Yep. Hey, they work pretty good. They do, yeah. They got a lot of zip in them. Magic air system heater. Hmm. Not a lot of bells and whistles, but pretty cool car. You want to give this a spin, Drew? I'll pull over and let you take it for a drive. Yeah, yeah. Just find the spot. Let me find it. This custom line is also an icon on the internet when referencing 1954 Fords. So, yeah, that's a nice example. It is, yes. Very well. Somewhere, one of those, I don't, I don't know where it's a collectible automobile magazine. I get that, but some, one of these magazines I read, and I'm sure it was this car. That they talked about the whole restoration of it, the family okay. did. Yeah. I wish I could find that. I, I've looked for it. You wouldn't have a hard time outrunning the police no. in this car. Of course, they were driving the same thing, yeah, I guess. Yeah, they so. were. I had a friend that had a, like a 57 Ford. It was such a base model, it only came with one sun visor and an armrest, not even an armrest or visor on the passenger side. I kind of wonder if the main line, the one below this, was kind of like that. Yeah. Point of this church parking lot up here, that way you can say a prayer, see if you can get it going without stalling it through. I'm going to be watching. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I've driven this car several times. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. uh, last year when we took those photos of it, I was driving They're around. They're experienced on it. Yeah. That's no fun. That's gonna get a good laugh out of you. Yeah. The charger. Yeah. It's beating those. All 115 horsepower this is putting out is just not enough to keep up. You were right. It is a church. <laughs> this is actually where I went to church when I was. Oh really? Kid. Yeah. Pretty easy getting out of this car. It is, yeah. Uh, one of these glove boxes, you gotta push the button and grab the under lip with your fingernail because it doesn't want to pop open very easy. Okay. Use only automatic transmission fluid type A. Huge steering wheel. Yes. <laughs> I guess we better just go for it. Oh, horn works. works now. Yeah. It's gonna sound a horn. It is. Yeah. Sounds better than one in my old Cadillac. That's kind of embarrassing. All right. <laughs> it's, all, it's all those horsepower is bucking. It is, yes. Let off way too early. This car does get a lot of looks. Yeah. I wonder the color that makes it pop out against all the gray and white cars today. Yeah. It's a loud car, though. It is, you really. That? Yeah. Even when I was in third gear, I was just in your face loud. Late 50s was kind of 
kind of the atomic Sputnik era. Okay. Everything had the rockets and the spaceships and the boomerangs. And early 50s would have been more, I think, probably would have been carried over from World War II with the airplane, air, jet aircraft, and things okay. like that. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot of things that came out in that early 50s period had airplane theme. That's a good stop, Drew. Brakes work. Let's see if I can take off again. Drum brakes. Stop on all the hills, you're just a lucky guy. Line six. Still has a generator. They never switched it over to an alternator. They kept it original, which is nice. Check out the trunk. Yeah. Chevrolet tried to say that their product was better because their gas cap was still on the side. Huh. But this one took up the trunk space because of this. And then oh, they said that I this see. was also something people would hit their luggage on. Yeah. Well, that's a nice trunk. It is very nice. It's got the red emblem there on the inside. Oh, what? The oh, red. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's a nice contrast from the green or... Thanos was probably a step up from... I bet the main line didn't have this. Yeah, probably not. That's probably something you got for moving up to mid-range. Uh, Here you go, son. You can have the keys. <laughs> no little Caesars today. It's unfortunate. I know you wanted some, well, but... Yeah, this is more of a... 
drive-in it is hamburger really, yeah, and fries yeah. thing. Yeah, it would be nice to have a drive-in or like a drive-in movie theater or something like that. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Sounds fun. Yeah.